The Pope is a man of many hats, both literally and figuratively. He is the Bishop of Rome, the Vicar of Christ, successor of St. Peter, and many more titles. One that is often forgotten is that he is the sovereign of the Vatican and essentially a king. In fact, officially, Vatican City is the only absolute monarchy in Europe. And in fact, for the longest time, the Pope had his own crown called the Papal Tiara. The Papal Tiara was the crown of various popes and is still featured prominently on many iconographies in the Vatican, including the coat of arms and on the flag. Yet, the Pope is never seen wearing the Papal Tiara anymore. Only the pointy hat called the mitre. Mitres, unlike the Papal Tiara, are worn by all bishops around the world and signifies their rank as a bishop of a diocese. And as such, any iconography or political cartoon representing the Pope in the past would feature the Papal Tiara instead. So, what is the Papal Tiara and what happened to it despite its importance? Starting off with its origin, it's unknown when the Papal Tiara was first introduced or by whom specifically, but it dates back to at least the 8th century, around when the Papal States were established. An early form of the Papal Tiara being mentioned in the Liber Pontificalis as being used by Pope Constantine called the Camilla Cum. This was a small cap of white linen that was part of Byzantine dress code. However, when the first lower tier tiara was used, it is only speculated to be the 10th century, and the term tiara wasn't used until the 12th century when describing the life of Pope Pascal II. The early depictions often show just one tier of the crown, rather than the three like the later ones. It added a second tier in the 14th century, supposedly by Pope Bonifacio VIII, to signify his temporal and ecclesiastic authority, which of course became the basis for the rivalry with King Philip the Fair. The final tier was added during the Avignon Papacy by Pope Clement V and remained the standard ever since. There have been many varying designs of the papal tiaras, but the general composition is a large round or slightly pointed helmet with three crowns or rings, often decorated ornately. Each pope typically received their own tiara, though they could wear any of the previous tiaras they wanted to. However, the majority have been lost or destroyed with only the most recent tiaras surviving and being put on display in the Vatican Museum. So what happened to the tiara? It was actually used up until 1965 with the final pope to wear it being St. Pope Paul VI, who was crowned as pope on June 21st of 1963 and last wearing the crown on his entrance of the Second Vatican Council. After Vatican II, he would sell the tiara to the Cathedral of Washington, D.C., where it is displayed to this day, and as far as I am aware, the only tiara located in the United States and was never used again. Vatican II, to summarize, was the Church's attempt to modernize the institution, and as such, it can be assumed that Pope Paul was retiring the crown as a means to continue modernizing the Church, since the Pope no longer had an extensive kingdom or any real temporal political power, so phasing out monarchical imagery was meant to show the papacy embracing its modern role. This is also shown with how many of the more opulent elements of the papacy, such as the Mozetta, Cumuro, Sedia Gestora, and the Fabellas, have likewise been out of use since Vatican II for the most part. The decision to sell the crown was quite controversial for traditionalist Catholics, and even leading to some forming new schisms of Catholicism, often establishing an anti-pope who uses a papal tiara as a sign for a return to tradition. There was no official ban on the papal tiara, and the Pope could wear it if he chooses to, but the four successors of Pope Paul have opted to keep the crown retired. Though Popes John Paul II, Benedict, and Francis all received papal tiaras from charities, but never used them. On top of that, Pope Benedict XVI opted to replace the papal tiara on his coat of arms with the mitre compared to his predecessor. And given Pope Francis's preference for a more humble and modest image, it's unlikely he'll return to use the tiara, though perhaps his successor will. What do you guys think? Should the papal tiara make a return or stay in the past? If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.